Parents should stop DMing me saying, what if my kid transitions and then they regret it? <laughs> then they change their mind. Um, Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again for another reaction video. You know, these are so intense. <laughs> I'm always thinking, what can I talk about next? And there's so many subjects out there to talk about. But as you know, my focus right now is pretty much about these kids being called trans kids and the transitioning of young people and parents. Parents are really important to me as a parent myself. You know, it's not an easy thing to be a parent. You're not given a guide. Now we add on top of it, gender dysphoria and trans kids. I mean, it's it's just appalling to me that we would put parents in a position like this. So I just want you to know that I, I'm not angry at parents in any way, shape or form. I believe that parents aren't being given the right information and they're being having they're being manipulated at, on some level and not being given an opportunity to think about this. Or like I have said before, why are we not encouraging parents to get other uh, opinions from other doctors. We're just having them rely on a very specific group of people and a very specific group of doctors and medical professionals, which I find to be appalling on some level because with any other kind of diagnosis, you would go and get other um, other opinions from other doctors. So before I move on with this first one, I would just like, again, want to thank you for subscribing, liking, you know, um, hitting that bell for notifications, and also most importantly, sharing this with people who might need to hear it. Okay. So it means a lot to me to be doing these videos and creating this community together with us. And I know some people think I'm doing this to sort of for, for whatever other reason, but I'm doing it to raise an alarm. And if you can handle that, that's fine. And if not, it's okay too, but I won't stop until things get, back into a healthier space for this community. It's just out of control. So I'm going to react to this first video here that I found of Jeffrey You Know Who, which is quite disturbing on some level. Here we go. Parents should stop DMing me saying, what if my kid transitions and then they regret it? <laughs> then they change their mind. Um, why aren't you DMing me to say, what if I force my trans child to be someone they're not until they're 18 and it psychologically scars them and future generations for hundreds of years. Why aren't you afraid of making that mistake? Well, um, Mr. or Mrs. or Ms. or whatever you are, Jeffrey, um, I'm going to push back on you with this. First off, parents, why are you contacting Jeffrey? Jeffrey isn't a parent. Jeffrey doesn't know anything about how to transition a child. Jeffrey puts out false information about what it means to be a trans person, let alone a trans child. So I highly recommend you do not DM this person. I highly recommend you don't even discuss transitioning your child with a person like that. That person has an agenda. That person is creepy. And why aren't you contacting a psychologist, a therapist, a doctor? And I'm talking to you right now. I can help you if you need any professional, not me. Never contact me to ask about your child. I have an opinion. You need to talk to doctors or people who actually understand the long-term effects. Even though I do, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a therapist, nor is Jeffrey. You really need to, and I have lots of great resources for you, to people who, for people who actually care about your child. And when he says, why are you not transitioning your child? Because you're smart. That's why. Because your child gets put in. So let's say your child is struggling with their dysphoria. So what? They're going to struggle with other things as well. When you put your child in a medicalized space, they are on some level going to struggle forever. Forever. Because they got to be medicalized. There's all kinds of things happening. You, you, Do you even understand what's going to happen to their body on these drugs they're giving them? So in my opinion, don't medicalize your child. So this guy is already telling you to do that because you're like definitely not listening to your child. Get into a, get into a space where you have a psychologist, where you have a doctor, where you can find a group of people who can give you the pros and cons because it's not just one street. It's not just one way. And we're showing you that by the WPATH files being released, by all the detransitioners speaking out. So I if you're a parent, I highly suggest you reach out to professionals and not influencers on the internet. Okay, so this next one here, 
I'm going to share the best ways to support your trans child. Love them unconditionally. If you're watching this video, you probably already do. Listen when they tell you their needs and know that their needs might change over time as they continue to discover their gender. For some people, gender is fixed, but for so many people, gender is so fluid. So if their pronouns change or their presentation changes, that's totally okay. Discovering one's gender is a process. It takes a really long time. So giving them the space to do that is gonna be really important. This might mean that your child's pronouns change on a daily basis. And that's the case for so many people. Check in with your child often and ask them what pronouns they're using that day. If their pronouns have changed, you can even share your pronouns with them. So it reinforces that not only trans and non-binary people share pronouns, everyone should share pronouns. A great way to do this is sharing your pronouns first and then asking them what pronouns they're currently what using. You... If the child has not gone through puberty yet, ask your doctor about hormone blockers. They also call these puberty blockers. These delay any unwanted physical changes regarding gender that happen during puberty. Learn from them, but also learn together. There are so many amazing books out there. Okay, I, I can't watch the whole thing because the minute that, that this person went to puberty blockers, I already thought they were a wing nut. But the fact that they're pushing puberty blockers for parents, that's what I keep telling you. Who is this person? A teacher? An educator? Not a medical professional in any way, shape, or form. An indoctrinator. That's what this person is. An indoctrinator. Share your pronouns with your kids. What? I've never shared my pronouns with my child, nor will I. That's indoctrination. Listen to your kid. They're constantly changing. Yeah. Why don't you take your own advice, lady? Kids are constantly changing. Are you hearing yourself when you say stuff like that? No, you're not. You have a one-track mind and you have a one-track way that you want to indoctrinate parents into thinking that their child is trans because of X, Y, and Z. Your child isn't trans. Your child is a kid kind of dealing with whatever stuff. Also dealing with peer pressure. You all know there's peer pressure now from the other kids telling kids they're trans. This is an actual thing that's happening. So parents just listen to what is going on on the outside in the world and you'll see what's going on with your child. That's why kids are saying they're trans. There's a, there's pressure to say it. Maybe they need something else going on with their lives. But this person is literally telling you how to indoctrinate your child. It's pathetic and gross. And I just can't even believe that this stuff is out there. It's pure indoctrination. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Our daughter is 10 years old. Um, she started letting us know that, um, she was transgender really. Um, before she could even speak, you know, she would do I'm, things like wear her sister's clothes, oh um, pretend what? that towels were her long hair. What? And when she was about three years old, um, she started to withdraw and become depressed. So we started doing some research. We, um, talked to her pediatrician. Wow. You guys just, Wow. At three years old, their child was trans. And did you see the mom is wearing, I don't know if you can see it, the mom is wearing a protect trans kids thing. There's an agenda going on there because the kid was playing with gender stereotypes. Gender stereotypes. This is what's man-made. Not sex, sex, biology, all that stuff is real. You are mixing up gender with gender stereotypes because your young kid wants to wear a towel on his head and pretend I did that as a kid, by the way. Look at me today. I did that. A lot of people do that. They play with all, I would do that and, and laugh and pretend like I had long hair. And then I would go play with my GI Joe and I was back and forth and all over the place. So what are you talking about? How does that have anything to do with being trans? Kids are not trans. I'm going to tell you, I'm telling you to the parents out there, your child is not trans. Your child is dealing with something. It could be really hardcore or they could just be dealing with stereotypes. But here's my last wish for all of you is that you get third, fourth, and fifth opinions about your child being trans. I beg of you. 
Number one. Number two, let your child just go. Let them be. Don't push stuff on them. Don't make it a big deal if they want to have a pronoun. You think that that, that stroking you're giving them, it's enforcing this whole thing. When you're like, oh, I'm a trans kid. But it's enforcing. They want to please you. Every kid wants to please their parents. They want to do good for you. So when you praise them for being trans, that's what they see and that's what they feel. Try not praising them. Try just not saying anything about it. Try just going on and going out for a bike ride and going to the beach and going camping and doing all these other things instead of focusing on their gender. Thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate you guys so much. It means the world to me. <sighs> this stuff is just, uh, it's exhausting, but we're getting there. We're getting there, friends. We are making some waves. And I just want to say this again before I go. I appreciate all of you. And I am in no way, shape, or form do I hate any parents of trans kids out there. I feel for you and I want to help you. And I want to hopefully get to a space where we don't have trans kids. Where we have kids who are living beautiful lives, figuring out themselves. And when they get to be adults, they can make those choices. See you guys all on the next one. Don't forget, you are loved. Thank you.